Lord, as they minister to us today by your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Pastor Phil. Shalom, everyone. We are extremely blessed to be able to be here with you all. This was a wonderful Feast of Tabernacles. And this is a day that should be a day of rejoicing. Simchat Torah. But uh, Israel was caught by surprise. And as Pastor Phil said, this attack has of, of Hamas against Israeli children, women, young and old, has cost greatly Israel. Over 600 dead, I'm sure much more. And over 2,156 wounded right now, Israeli citizens. Um, because of an infiltration that from the south, from Gaza, into the land. So, uh, yes, we pray and thank you for praying for Israel at this time. And the Lord orchestrated uh, for us to be here. And we just thank him for his mercy um, to be able to represent Israel. There are many believers in the IDF, young believers that need prayer. And I sent, there's a photo of two soldiers, Tina, if you can put it out for us, just so you have a face to pray for uh, that are there in the front lines entering right now to try to rescue hostages. Um, we never thought this would happen, but Israelis that were uh, taken from Sterot, from the south city of Israel, Sterot, into Israel. Um, and so um, we... It's another picture, and um, we will discuss more. But what we have is the vision to help these believers, soldiers, that they don't have the right equipment to enter. It's not really like the American military that is so strengthened with all the best. I'll be honest with you, as a sergeant of the IDF, many of our equipment, for example, guns or weapons are, are, are from the First World War, or M14 that is really ancient, and the, but it's not weapons that we, we fight with. It's, we believe in prayer, amen? But what we need is at least to give um, a, 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 a help for those that are believers in Yeshua, the, there, there are IDF soldiers that are believers, and their group. So, so we can help them to, to have bulletproof against the bullets because Hamas terrorists come in with machine guns and they're shooting and they're slaughtering and it's really to help these uh, soldiers there. Amen. So just futurely we'll, we'll share about that, but that's what this is, what we'll be doing today in the offering that will be going in to restore Israel. You'll be planting for us. Uh, is not really for us. We're going to directly deposit that for for um, trust trustworthy uh, connections, believers that are there in the front line, trying to help uh, the women and the children that are there. So we want to make sure that goes to them and with credibility before the Lord and before leadership. That's what the offering to Israel for Restore Israel would go to directly for them. Amen. Hallelujah. So... We just want to praise the Lord, and today we have also a message by Dr. Hadassah Elia, my mom. Uh, we work together in the songs a lot, and um, we just want to invite you to stand on your feet. Um, we have a special song to share in Hebrew and English, and we're going to let the Holy Spirit take over and lead. Sometimes it's difficult in ministry, we have to <laughs> present everything organized. But I thank God for this beautiful team, for this beautiful worship team, and, and Tina, and this Verlin, because Pastor Jeanette, all of them have decided to join me in forces <laughs> in this song of warfare. Because our weapons are not carnal, but are mighty in Messiah Yeshua. Amen. And we thank you, Father, that we have on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the belt of truth, and the shoes of the gospel of peace. And we thank you, Lord, in the name of Yeshua, because we enter your courts with praise and thanksgiving. And just as you did for Jehoshaphat and the army of Israelites when they were facing the 
enemy who wanted to destroy them in the times of the Bible, right? Jehoshaphat, he fell on his knees with the face to the ground and he asked Lord what to do. And the Lord gave him wisdom and he said, put down, put before me, put in the war instead of the tanks and the mighty men. He said, put the worshipers on the front line. And he said, with the shofars, are there any shofar blowers? You're recruited. Come forward. Shofar blowers, come forward now. And, and wait. And he said, all the worshipers were proclaiming, Give thanks to Adonai, yeah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. When Jehoshaphat and that army of the worshipers with the shofars, with the praise, the men entered into battle, the Lord, he himself fought against the enemies of Israel, the enemies of Yahweh. He himself fought and he gave great victory to the Israelites. That's what the Bible says. And today as we worship him, the Lord, he is fighting for us and he is fighting for his people. Arise, Yahweh. May your enemies be scattered. May all those who hate you flee from your presence. Kuma Adonai. Let your enemies be scattered, Yahweh. Let's say together, arise, Yah. Let your enemies be scattered. May those who hate you. Oh, they're going to see that our God lives, Yahweh, the God of Israel. They're going to see. Hallelujah. And may all those who hate you flee from your presence. The enemy is going to fight in between each other. And there will be confusion in the tents of the enemy today in Yeshua's mighty name. Hallelujah!
Give. 
אשא עיניי נלר הרים, מאין יבוא עזרי, עזרי.